Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing for you. <laughs> um, these are both obviously from Diamond Art Club. They are both square kits and they are both Chuck Pinsons. So one of them is a new release. I'm not quite sure when this video is going to be going up, but as of the time I'm filming it, it was a new release from last weekend. And um, the other one is just a Chuck Pinson that I have yet to add to my collection. Um, as of right now, I have three outstanding that I do not currently have in my collection from Chuck Pinson. I am trying to complete it. I absolutely love his work. Um, his One of his kits was my first Diamond Art Club ever. Um, but yeah, let's dig into these. So I'm going to do the older one first and then I'll show you the new release. So the first one is a beautiful day in Sec Terry. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. I probably just butchered it. Sorry for the lighting. This is a 93 by 70. Something I found interesting is these are both the same size. They're both square but the new one was $10 more. So it appears as though Diamond Art Club is raising their prices, which I feel like is something that's happening across the board with the current state of things. Um, it is what it is in my book. I will still continue to purchase these stunning pieces. Um, all right, so we have our small sticker and we have our toolkit, which is a standard square um, Diamond Art Club toolkit. You get a blue pen, tweezers, some baggies, a squishy, some heart plate wax, two of them. Um, normally a four placer, but I'm not seeing that in here. And a tray. Yeah, I don't see the multi placer. That's totally possible. Like I said, this is an older kit. And for a while, when they were switching over to the skinny four placers, they didn't have any multi placers in their kits. So that is 100% possible. Close my knife. Is this like landscape size? So I might actually be able to show it to you. Yes, perfect. Okay. So this has 57 colors. Oh my gosh. This is giant. <laughs> it's gorgeous, but it's giant. I adore Chuck Pinson. Absolutely adore him. Oh, this is a newer-ish kit because it has the pre-cut labels. You guys can see that, which is awesome. Here is the full image. Oh gosh. His artwork is just, I will always be a landscape girl through and through. I love all the different styles of diamond paintings. Recently I've been doing a lot of people, but this is like my bread and butter. The landscapes are my favorite. Um, look at this giant bag of drills. What the heck? They used to send them in like two little bags, but now it's one giant. Ooh, I see an AB. I see an orange AB right off the bat. What do we have for ABs? Looks like we have two. So we have an orange and a green. Looking for the green. Oh, there's the green. So I'm not going to open this pack of drills because trying to put these back together would give me such <laughs> anxiety. Just the thought of it is stressing me out. So we have this really pretty green and we have this orange right here for our ABs, which AB stands for Aurora Borealis, um, which means there's a rainbow coating on the present drill. Um, I wish I could get everything in frame for you. Um, but my setup today just isn't going to allow for that. So I'm going to fold this in half so I can at least show you. The beautiful sailboat here. Looks like the dock here. We've got some gorgeous flowers, little beach. This is gorgeous. I love this pink tree. How amazing would this look with some pink or purple ABs in it? Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Um, our AB symbols are one, no, they're not. Our AB symbols are P and X. Um, so P is the yellow 
and it's all over the side of some of these houses here. It's just sprinkled all throughout. There's also some down in this bush right here. Tree, I should say. And then X is the green, and I'm seeing that all throughout the greenery. I'm just seeing it just kind of scattered all throughout. And I love how Diamond Art Club just scatters ABs. Believe me, I love ABs, um, and I think they're amazing in most images, but I do feel like they can get overdone, and that's a little much for me. Um, there is some more of the green ABs in this rainbow. I think it would be cool to bling out the rainbow. Um, and some in this pink tree, I think would be stunning as well. But replacing full colors with AB is not my style. I do add ABs in myself um, into a lot of my pieces, but I never fully replace a color. If that's your style, you do you. Um, I think that's great. But for me, I prefer it just kind of like scattered throughout. So this is, what did I say this was called? A Beautiful Day in Cirque Dari. Probably butchering that. Um, and that is my first kit for today. I'm just gonna sit this off to the side so you don't have to watch me struggle to get this mammoth piece back into its box. I'll do that off video so I don't have to embarrass myself. Um, and we'll dive into the second piece of the day, which is, Sorry guys, I thought somebody pulled up to my house. <laughs> this is a Brookside Retreat. And it is upside down because I'm a spaz. This is <laughs> Brookside Retreat. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I have an artist that I love, I find myself going onto their websites and looking at pieces, especially with, with Diamond Art Club when it's an artist that you know they license um, and I don't think Chuck Pinson is going anywhere with Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I hope not anyway for our sakes. Um, but this is one on his website that I was like oh my gosh I would love for Diamond Art Club to um, license this one. Another one is I think it's called Kate Cod Afternoon. Yes I love that one. There's so many though. Most of his diamond paintings I would absolutely love. So we have another square toolkit. Like I mentioned before, this is the same size. It's a 93 by 70. Here's a little bit of a better image. And it is a square drill. All right. Just got it upside down. Oh my gosh. I barely even opened it and I love it already. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Here is a better image. And this has 55 colors and two ABs. Wow. This is gorgeous. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Look at the cabin. Oh, look at all the drills. Look at that. This thing is like a five pound weight. I'm looking for the ABs. I really don't want to take this package out. Because there's absolutely no way that I will be able to get these. Okay, I see the green. Let me just... I'm not going to take them all out, but I'm going to pull you down, and we will look at the canvas and at these drills at the same time. So, here is the green AB, so the lime green. They use that one a lot in Chuck Simpsons. And the other one, I think it's like a pale yellow. I'm looking, please don't make me take these out. Oh, I found it. Pale yellow. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Stun it. 
Okay, this is, I can't, this is gorgeous. All right, so these ABs are symbols one and two. Before we do that, just check out the drill field. I can see a bunch of one and twos right here already. Diamond Art Club's drill field is just superior. It's amazing. I'm not saying that there aren't other great companies that have wonderful drill fields. There's just something to me about Diamond Art Club. I know there are people that don't think they're worth the hype or they're not worth the money. I get it, but to me, they're amazing. Um, you know what I just noticed though that's really gonna bother me? The key, <laughs> I noticed um, a symbol up here. It's symbol number three, if you can see that right there, right? So we have symbols one, two, three dots is number three, four is number four. And then if you go all the way down here, symbol number three is for 44. <laughs> And again, like you can see it here. So number 21 is number eight and number 16 is number nine. Like why, why couldn't it just be their number on the, on the canvas? Why not? All right, oops, sorry about that. I'm trying to pull this over so I can show you how sticky a Diamond Art Club canvas is. Then I'm going to pull you guys up here and show you where the ABs go. So, symbol number one, um, we saw it down here. Is this a cat? What is that? Sometimes it's hard when you're, oh, no, no, wait, what is this? Oh, it's a barrel. It's a barrel, this is a barrel. Can't even see what I'm pointing at. This is a barrel. So there's white AB, or not white, pale yellow there. There's a bunch of number two, which is the green in all the flowers. There's some more on this other side that you guys can't quite see. Um, number one. Oh, there's some more ones in the swans or the ducks. I'm not exactly sure. There's a bunch of ones in there. There's some down in the water here. Some in the lanterns. You guys can see this lantern down here. Some there. Yeah, wow, this is beautiful. I'm so glad they brought this one out. So, so glad they brought this one out. It's stunning. Gorgeous. I wish I lived in a log cabin. I don't, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you on the log cabin. Again, some more of those, um, like adding some of the ABs to these trees, just very, very sparingly would just make them glisten and I think that would be gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I'm sorry that I'm like, oh my God, this is so gorgeous, but it's how I feel. Chuck Pinson's work just speaks to me. It really does. Um, but yes, I will end it here. <laughs> so you don't have to listen to me fangirl any longer. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. Um, let me know down below if you picked up this new release. Um, from at the time of filming last weekend. Um, also, at the time of filming right now, it is the 22nd of June, no, 22nd of May. Did you pick up any of today's new releases? It's Saturday, just after one o'clock. So let me know if you picked up any of the new releases. I grabbed two, the Fox and the uh, new Hannah Lynn, the Halloween one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.